I'm Bob, and I collect stamps. Hi, I'm Bob, and I collect stamps, and these are stamps. This is an envelope I got today from one of those places that sells a thousand worldwide stamps off paper. Thought I'd do a little bit unboxing video for you. We'll see, I got this from Amazon. Not one of those uh, stamp publication advertisements. This is going to be as awkward as I can make it, okay? First, it came, it obviously came from a uh, philatelic person rather than Amazon itself because it came with all these wonderful stamps. These I don't actually have in my collection. They're, uh, you can see what they are, perhaps. I am not someone who goes to the post office regularly to buy new stamps. So having those in the, in the collection now is good. They're, they're uh, fairly modern, 37 cent stamps. Let's see what's in here. Came into, I, I live in an apartment. It came into my apartment size P.O. box. And all that's in there. Got a nice packing peanut. Piece of cardboard. It did come a little bit bent. File folder. Chopped down to size a bit. The invoice cost me about 20, a little less than $20, including postage and everything. I did have to pay postage. It was not an Amazon Prime deal because it wasn't shipped from Amazon, of course. Mostly modern stuff. Probably, yeah, all of it used. It's a nice package. It looks like a stamp dealer package. One of those that you would get from any stamp dealer if you had one on your corner, which you don't anymore, unless you're very lucky. Uh, there are, right off the bat, my tongs are missing. Of course they are. They were here just a moment ago. Of course they're missing. Okay, so I have found a set of tongs. These are not my preferred ones. These are, these are round tips. And they are better for a lot of things. If you want to get into tongs, Exploring Stamps has an excellent episode comparing all the tongs. Um, he does a real good job with that. I prefer spade tip, and mine seems to have evaporated in the last 10 minutes because they were here when I sat down. Just going to quickly sort through these and, and see what we have. Equatorial Guinea, a, a sheet of Napoleon stamps, another sheet of movie stamps, more set, Marilyn Monroe, artwork again, this time modern artwork, that other was older artwork. These are... It looks like Renaissance paintings. The Red Cross Red Crescent of Korea, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. North Korea. I don't think I have any North Korea. This is a folded uh, sheet. Equ Guinea, Equatorial Guinea again. And then a bunch of stamps. I'm going to count out the stamps, look through them, see, what, see what's here, and I'll be back. It's only been about five minutes. I'm still looking through this. Some nice stuff. There's a U.S. stamp. It did say worldwide. It didn't say no U.S. U.K. Getting some nice U.K. Some Christmas stamps. I don't know how old they are. I haven't looked yet. Uh, but they'll be nice. I don't have a lot of U.K. Christmas stamps. Eastern Bloc countries. Uh, Bulgaria. I, I do collect insects. Those are a couple of nice insect Bulgarian insects. And I will be back in a few moments. Probably. Hi, back. I have about 60 countries here. A nice mix. It's got a nice mix of uh, definitives and commemoratives. I got one that I'm really excited about because it's new to me from Japan. And it's a bird stamp, and I collect birds, of course. But there, oops, there's that nice kingfisher from Japan. Probably worth 20 cents, but who cares? I like it. And that's the important thing. Remember, we're doing this for ourselves. It's a nice range. There's only six from the U.S. in this world set, thousand thousand stampish. I've got a nice set, nice selection of Netherlands. I've got four Germanys. I've got modern Germany, West Germany, East Germany, and Deutsches Reich. India. I got some India. I don't have. Um, I've got several Israel stamps which I did not have because I don't have a lot of Israel stamps. 
I've got an Iranian stamp, which I didn't have any Iranian stamps before. I also have um, Azerbaijan. I do not have any Azerbaijan because the last time I was collecting world stamps, Azerbaijan was not independent. Um, no, that's Tajikistan. That's not Azerbaijan. Uh, that's Azerbaijan. A bunch of mineral stamps. I like those. Yeah, the usual suspects. Hungary, Austria, Romania, uh, Soviet Union. Not so many Soviet Union stamps. Lots of dunes. CTOs, they're basically worthless. Uh, but they're pretty. Don't say, don't, don't not collect them because somebody else says they're worthless. Don't collect, you know, if you don't like them, fine. But, it's a space stamp for this one from uh, Mara State. And that's CTO. It was never postally used. It was never postally valid. It's basically a label. But, you know, it's a pretty sta space stamp. And you can collect it. It doesn't have to be in a Scott catalog or anybody else's catalog for you to enjoy it. So you enjoy what you want. That's a fun one. It's got, it's got Sesame Street. It's Fozzie Bear on it. And I like Fozzie Bear. I don't necessarily collect Muppets, but it's a cute stamp. I like, I like pretty stamps. I don't collect anything. South Africa. Nice little bloom there. Got a couple of Australian birds. They're used, but that's okay. They'll go in my Australian bird collection. A bunch of Belgian stamps. This one, I believe, is older. Not sure how old. Uh, could be just the 60s. 1960s, but um, that's okay. Only one Canadian stamp. Interesting to see. Two from Brazil. One Canadian, one Bulgaria, one ta that one Tajikistan, one Iranian, two from T Tanzania. I've got some unknown countries, unknown to me. Uh, let me show you a couple here. This one is a uh, nice Arabic country. This one C-T-O-T. I'm not sure what that is. Spanish stamps, but they are um, different. They're, they're imperfect and very simple. I read the postmark and I can't even, I can't make out what's on there. So there's a little one there just says 20 and has a flag. Probably you know, Looks like the Korean flag, but I'm not sure. So I'll be looking at looking up those, find out what they are. Anyway, uh, for for now, I'm going to uh, cut off. I'm going to put these into envelopes and sort them, and be back with you and count them. All right, I'll let you know how many came in this thousand worldwide off paper used stamp. <music>
add up all my little numbers and see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back again. I did some toting up. Now, there were in the package 994 stamps. They promised a thousand because the things are done by weight. Six stamps is not a big deal. Uh, however, there are six stamps right there. 22, 22 stamps just on the package. That makes up for the six missing. Half of them, about 500, 527 of them are from Europe. There were only a few duds, a half a dozen. Again, the envelope makes up for those complete duds. I mean, torn, my Indonesia doubleheader, uh, things like that. A uh, hundred of the stamps were in these mini sheets. It took me three hours to get to this point from opening the envelope. Was 20 bucks worth that three hours of fun playing with my stamps with you along? Yes. I didn't take many breaks either. But three hours, yes, 20 dollars. And I've got all of these stamps to go through, put in my albums, find out what they are, learn about them. 20 bucks well spent for this, from my standpoint. If I were a serious collector wanting to make serious purchasing, I wouldn't do it this way. Um, you can do it this way. You'll get CTOs. You'll get fake stamps, like the Hades Cinderella's. You'll get uh, stamps from the Dune countries. You'll, you'll get all sorts of things that would not go into a serious collection. But I'm not a serious collector. I've got a lot in here. Is is a fair number of duplicates for my collection because I've done this sort of thing before. So I have six of those matchings. You know, I got new countries to me. That's good. I got stamps I've never seen before. That's good. I got countries I've never seen before. That's good. For me, at my level of world collecting, and because I do keep the CTOs and I keep the Cinderella's and I just have fun with them because the stamps are fun and I learn about things even if they're um, not postally used. And I like the pretty pictures. And I like playing with stuff. Yes, it was worth it for me. Will I do it again? Probably not because, simply because, I've done this. I might go, so, you know, if somebody had 300 Finland for a dollar, I might go for something like that. Do I need another worldwide collection from Amazon? Probably not. I wouldn't turn up my nose if somebody sent me one. I would, you know, have fun with it, sorting through it, and I will probably get some new stamps from it because every Every single one of these is different. Your results may vary. Uh, so do what you want. If you want to have some fun with it, if you want to introduce a new collector, remember the idea of the CTOs and things. If you want the new collector to have fun with it, and that's the goal, and to learn about geography and history and art and whatever, go with it. Um, if you want to learn them, teach them the serious side, latterly, eh, this is not a really great way to do it. Pick, pick stamps out, do that. But, and that's because there are so many CTOs in here. Cancel to orders. Some people like them, some people don't. A lot of them, especially from the places that became the United Arab Emirates, those stamps were never postally used. They never intended to be postally used. So a lot of people just call them stickers. There are a couple of overprints in here that I'm going to look at, and they are interesting. One Belgian has an overprint on it. I'm not sure what it is. And there are several, there's several cool stamps in here. I'm going to really enjoy looking through these and, and figuring out what they are. Some older ones uh, that I have not seen before. I'm still a novice world collector. Um, as far as my collection is concerned, I'm learning a lot. I've learned a lot, but I need to learn and want to learn more. I've been focusing on my U.S. collection, and that's fine. I will put I will put TED Talk stamps, who does a lot of this stuff, uh, unboxing, and does a much more formal 
calculation of what's in the in the package and i will also put exploring stamps there his link down there uh, he's branching out and changing what he's doing just like you know i'm still experimenting he's still experimenting he's been doing it for five years i've been doing it for a couple of months all right so um thank you for watching uh this has been an experiment if you liked it please like it if you didn't like it hit the down hit down thumb hit the thumbs down if you didn't like this at all uh do that tell me and i won't do one again all right so have fun don't listen to anybody else's rules except take care of yourself take care of yourself take care of yourself that'll be fun for the blooper reel all right all right keep collecting collect what you want don't follow anybody else's rules except have fun and take care of yourself and your stamps thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.